direct driver monitoring is a driver monitoring system. It detects the driver's eyes or head movements to estimate where the driver is looking. Some systems may provide a warning to the driver and or limit the use of other features. Joel, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. These systems utilize cameras either mounted in the steering column or usually up by the rear view mirror. Now in this car here, you might be able to see a couple flashing lights. These lights are infrared lights that actually illuminate the driver so in dark conditions, the cameras can see your eyes and make sure you're paying attention to the road. If you're not paying attention to the road, the cameras will detect that and they'll shut down the system and usually display a warning on the screen saying that you're, there's not a focus by the driver or something's going on. Interesting. Is there any situation where we're gonna have to calibrate these systems? For the most part, these systems are self-calibrating, but I always refer back to the OEM service information to make sure you're doing things correctly. But typically on a steering column mounted camera, any type of damage you know, uh, to the steering column itself, airbag deployment, stuff like that, you need to go through and check that. If you're doing a glass replacement or some kind of rear view mirror work, stuff like that, and you have a cabin mounted camera up in there, you go through and check, check that to make sure it's all good. All good points. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by SCRS. If you aren't currently a member, I encourage you to join. Visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.